Where are we going? What are we doing? We're going. We're going nowhere. Yeah, I was going to say. We're going nowhere, but what we're doing is a vlog. A vlog. Everyone loves vlogs, I think. Vlog him. My topic for today is going to be power. 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 There's lots of fast All the extra horsepower you can deal with. Yeah. Like having, like like the R8, like 720 brake. People just assume that you'll be able to just get past anything like that. Like say, say like a car that's got 400 brake. Like oh, you just overtake it instantly. <laughs> but it doesn't work like that. Like and like even the difference between let's say this and your bath, there's probably what like over 100 brake difference. Yeah. But in real world driving, like you don't know. We're saying so much like difference, do you? like not overtaking someone and doing 50. No, yeah, this is the difference. Like overtaking someone who's who's trying yeah trying yeah. and going similar kind of speeds to you are yeah because this is the thing right yeah in the R8 just overtaking normal traffic yeah you do really quickly even in this you can overtake traffic pretty quickly I but but normal traffic is not you know they're just pulling along at below the speed limit because obviously you wouldn't go above the speed limit no. um, so yeah like they're just pulling along they're not trying to go fast but when you get someone who's actually flooring it even if they're in like a 1.4 litre Fiesta or something it takes a lot longer than you think to get past them. You need a lot more road than you think. Even in like an R8 that's super jazzed. There's probably someone out there who can do a calculation and tell us. Probably. Like Engineering that explained. Power. Yeah, yeah get, on. get on it. <laughs> but basically like, it must be, it's, 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 here we go, we're getting way out of okay. comfort zone. But it must be like aero, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics, Like right. the wind pushing. So like, the faster, like you need more horsepower to overcome if you get, yeah if you get in that makes sense yeah like the what is it like diminishing returns yeah you know what I mean yeah. the higher up you get the more you need but but even like at low horsepower like if you have someone who's got a car who's got 100 brake more than you or say even 50 brake more than you and it's a similar sort of car you know it's the same sort of weight that, that sort of thing you will assume or most people seem to assume that oh it'd be so much faster than me you know I wouldn't even try and race someone who's got like an extra 100 brake more than me or something like that but in reality, you can keep up with them pretty damn well. Like, yeah, do it. yeah, you're not going to overtake them, but at the same time, they're probably going to struggle, like, really struggle to overtake you. Like, I was, I was in the R8 when it was stock, but it's still 500 brake or 400. <laughs> what, 20? But, yeah. There is. It was, it was, so it's still around <laughs> four or 500 brake. Um, I went to overtake this guy in, I think it's like a, an old Alfa Romeo, like 1.6, nothing special, not fast. I think it was diesel or something. It was like, like nothing amazing. Um, and it was down like a, a fairly sort of sharp, straight stretch of road, but it looked like there was plenty of time to overtake. As I went to overtake, he started like going for it. I could hear him drop a gear <laughs> and floor it. And like, I only just got past him in time for the corner. Like, you would think a, a V10 500 brake R8 would just get straight past that, no matter how hard he was trying. But I like, I dropped a gear, went for it, and it took eight, it felt like ages. Like in reality, it probably wasn't that long, but. When you're overtaking someone and you're worried about, you know, cars might start coming the other way. Yeah. yeah. It feels like a long time when you're on the wrong side of the road and there's a <laughs> corner coming up and you're like, shit. Like, it's, yeah. And, and um, a 458 Speciale driver who was at the the runway thing, was it Elvington? Wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Um, I went you, out in it. You, you went it was out looking amazing. That. You went wow. out on the 458 Speciale. Slightly nice. jealous. Loved it. Um, but yeah, I was chatting to him afterwards and um, he, he said the same thing and this was out without me bringing it up. He said, like, you know, it's mad how much extra horsepower you need to get past people. He said, you know, although none of us want to admit it, even in these supercars, you can sometimes struggle to get past like a Focus ST or something. Yeah. Like, it's, it's surprising. Because you think, you think of like, like race cars, mm. most of the overtake is done in, in the braking zone. Yeah. yeah Not a lot of it, unless someone them. like messes up the exit of a corner, then you can get them down the straight. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you need like, and in real world, Dude, if you're trying to overtake someone on the brakes and do a corner, that is brave. That is That's brave. stupid. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's just surprising. And, and unlike the drag races we were doing, like my R8 against a stock GTR, I, I think it was stock anyway, um, so I've got like a 200 brake advantage, maybe a slight weight advantage, I don't know. Um, so you'd think, yeah, we'll just, just smash to him. And fair enough, he had an automatic gearbox, but you'd still think we'd just destroy him. Yeah. But no, it was like it was really even for like the first sort of four gears. Then as we got higher speed, again, like you said, I guess the more power you start to need to go to the, like, from 150 to 160, you need so much more power to do that quickly versus, like, 30 to 40. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, the same, it's the same thing with a, with a Veyron. It's like mm. 100 brake horsepower. No, sorry, 200 brake horsepower would get you to, like, 
of a hundred mile an hour. Yeah. Quite easily. Even a hundred brake horsepower, yeah, get over hundred. Yeah, yeah. To get over two hundred, you need an extra like eight hundred yeah. horsepower to be able to like And then to get like another five miles an hour over two hundred, you need like another hundred brake horsepower. Yeah, yeah. It just like, starts to get silly once you get to them kind of speed. Yeah. And I, that, I noticed that a lot on the drag day. It was it was always in the later stages of the race that we suddenly had like an advantage. Just yeah. going from like 160 to 170 and then 170 to 180. That's where the extra brake horsepower and the, the supercharger just came into its own really. Yeah, it started pulling me along. So yeah, so, so yeah, just just a. a but that's what we were subject. saying. Like small horsepower gains. Yeah. Are no, like, like kind of negotiable in real world situations. Yeah, like when when someone wants a different air filter or whatever because it gives them an extra five brake horsepower, that kind of thing. Like in, in reality, really. I know we can say that all these little things add up, but even like an extra thirty brake that you've got from loads of little things, again in real world it doesn't make much difference. Yeah. Like, yeah. Especially if you're trying to race someone else in a car that's got 30 brake less, you'll barely notice that you're any quicker than them. No. And like, and obviously being a better driver is going to make much more difference than just having an extra 30 brake. So it's like... So, yeah. speaking of small horsepower gains... Small horsepower gains, we're going to talk about the Abarth, are we? Oh, oh, oh bath time. Yes. <laughs> so, clock. I've seen an exhaust. Have you and, heard uh, it? You've heard the exhaust. I heard it. You've and heard it's it. amazing. I've not heard it yet. You've not heard it? No. Oh, no, I have. Send you a video. Yes. No, yeah, I have heard yeah. it, yes. No, it sounded good. So, it sounded good. I like the, it. Most, the thing I'm most excited about is it's a Novatech. It's a Novatech. Novatech? Novatech? No, I want to say oh, it. I'm Novatech. Novatech. Okay, Novatech, yeah. So, it says, it's straight through pipe. It's going to be amazing. It pops it, it and... It burbles oh, a lot, doesn't it? Yes. I like the burbles. So, I'm going to start calling it the Abarth and Largo. You know, just... <laughs> you know... <laughs> Is it going to get stickered on? Oh, Jesus. A Bath and Largo edition. Yep. Maybe like yep. a, a bigger happen. spoiler, some some wider arches. Sheesh. I mean, you know, and then like packed next to a F12. <laughs> yeah, it's Largo, basically a like, Ferrari. Bit yeah. much. It's, Italian. No, it's got an overtake exhaust. It's Italian. I know. <laughs> it's, it's basically a Ferrari. So Do it's it. coming from Italy. Exotic. Yeah. No. So it's going to, might take a couple of weeks to get here, but I can't wait. I like. I think it's going to be awesome. When I got when I got the exhaust on the coupe, I was like, this is amazing, I should have done ages ago. And then when I bought the bath, I was like, I'm gonna get an exhaust. No, I you didn't. For ages. I know. I know. So this is this is gonna be the worst thing about getting it. Is I'm gonna be like, I should have got it years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but but saying that, the only reason I found it was because I was looking at another exhaust. And in this video on YouTube, they've got the exhaust I was gonna buy and this Novatech one. Like compare it. And compare yeah. the Novatech sounds so much better. So I'm, anyway, I'm glad I yeah, didn't go can't. for the, the one I was going to buy. Because wasn't the other one like way more expensive as well? Yeah, it's an extra 120 quid more expensive. Oh, so. I thought it was even more than that. I thought it was like like several hundred pound difference. No, yeah, they're close. Right, okay. Close, but I mean but, 120 so, quid. Yeah, seven hundred yeah. and twenty 120 quid. It and sounds it sounds better. nicer. So, yeah, yeah so right. happy. Can't wait. Can't wait. Makes sense. So yeah, that should be cool. That'd be sweet. That'd be cool. Um, what else was there? There was stickers. Stickers. We've stickers. got some two new sticker designs coming. They're kind of jokey stickers. Yeah. But, well, one of them's one of them's not so much. Yeah, one of them's one of them. them. You have to be you have to be following dedication blog for a, a little while. Yeah. To um, get or at least watch quite a lot of our videos. Um, yeah. To get it. But yeah, they'll be up now. Now. And it's down below. In have the link look. in the description. And let us know what you think. <laughs> let us know if you're down with Jeffy B. Jeffy oh, B. Jeffy B. I made Jeffy B. Jeffy B. <laughs> I'd be amazed if anyone buys that, I'll be honest. Yeah. I amazing. want to see, if someone buys the Jeffy B sticker, I want to see a picture of that. Yeah. Oh, we'll yes. send you a free one. Yeah. <laughs> if someone's brave enough to rock out with Jeffy B, like the most niche in joke ever. <laughs> yes. I think someone deserves a free sticker. Oh, mate, I tried to do a clutch kick the other day um, with traction control still turned on. Oh, wow. <laughs> I completely forgot it was still on. I just went around this corner, second gear, floored it, boom, clutch in. And it just went, oh, and just like stalled on the spot. Oh. I was like, oh, and I look like a twat. That won't help you. No, it won't, it won't go. <laughs> it won't go. And then I tried it again the other day with just like the sort of half traction control off mode. That did the same thing. So let's make sure we turn it off fully. Turn it off. Turn it off fully. <laughs> they call the prop shaft the drive shaft. Oh. Which is very confusing. When you go to order drive shafts from an American company, a lot of confusion. <laughs> yeah. So in other news, I've ordered some drive shafts for this. <laughs> Turns out it's yeah. a steering wheel. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, because if I hadn't realised that, I would have literally just ordered a prop shaft and it would turn up and I'd be like, well, this isn't going to fit. This is no good. There's only one of them for a start. 
So yeah, they call them axles. But I suppose it just makes sense. It is, it is the axle, I guess. But yeah. I've also ordered a lightweight flywheel as well oh. for this. So that'll be fun. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And new fuel injector. So this is turning into a GTA 6 update now. But <laughs> um, so lightweight flywheel, new drive shafts that handle up to like 600 brake. You know, we're not going to go that high. Or are we? No, we're not. Or are we? No, we're not. Um, new fuel injectors and fuel pump so that we can turn the boost up a bit more. And something else. Lightweight flywheel, they mentioned that, yeah. Yeah. Something else. Oh, some new bushings to try and stop the wheel bouncing up and down so much. Fucking horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it, then. It's about... For now. GJ Things no. Update. Yeah. So we're going to try and install the new axles or drive shafts ourselves, which I feel like that's going to go terribly. But Bald Yoda reckons he's done it before <laughs> on a front-wheel drive car. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll get we'll get it done somehow. <laughs> Going back to Fensport to get um, some stuff done. Um, yeah, so it's going back to them to get the fuel system installed and remapped again. So we can have more boost. <laughs> more boost. More boost. And yeah, that's about it. Next week, where we're going, what we're doing, we're doing... We've got Supercar Driver sorted a special Audi drive. Yeah, it's going to be like R8s only, so that'll be fun. Um, I think there's like seven or eight R8s turning up. Or maybe more, I don't know. Is it Blackburn um, Audi? I think Blackburn Audi has sponsored it. Should we again, Speciale, May, Aventador, <laughs> you know it is. Plug Blackburn Audi, Plug goodbye Black, an Audi. Blackburn Audi will have a yeah. nice TTRS each, please. Oh, maybe yeah, another R8. Yeah. Them. Cool. With a black spoiler, please. Yeah. And black wing mirrors to match. A few little carbon bits around. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah You cool. know how we like it. Yeah. yeah. You know how we do Cheers, hook us up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's there's the R8 drive. Uh, what else is there? There's VMAX. 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 After Elvington, Supercar Driver Runway Day. We're hooked. We, yeah, it's we fun. We hooked. Because I was saying to you straight after that, it's like, ah, oh, it's a shame we just missed like VMAX that's just gone, and then it turns out they're doing another one already. So. Yeah, we thought it was just, just one. It's not like an I annual thing. they did like VMAX yeah. ones. Apparently not, so. No, this is like the third one this year. So. Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> um, and apparently we'll get a few more runs in at, at um, Brundithorpe as well, because it's kind of like a circuit. You just go around and just line straight back up and then um, just go again. Oh, did better. So that, yeah, it should be good. We'll get a lot more. Runway time, I think. Oh, can't oh wait. runway time. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. And then and there's another drift day. There is. Wow. You get to pit yourself against Bald Yoda, basically. <laughs> see if you can do better. Oh. What, what are your predictions for your attempt at the drift day? Do you think you're going to do better than Baldy? I, I just hope I'm not all busy with a steering wheel. Baldy was very busy, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. But I feel like I am going to be. I think I think anyone new to it will be. I think yeah. I probably was when I first started doing it, but just because I've done a couple, I've got it's a bit not, more. It's not relaxed. in my nature to just let it let it all hang out. No. And go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's counterintuitive at first because you want to be like controlling the wheel as much as possible, yeah. but yeah. a lot of the time you have to just kind of guess what it's going to do and just hope it does it. So yeah. that will be. Fun. Just don't crash my car. That's all I'm asking. I'll try not to. Baldy managed not to crash it, so. If, dude, I mean, if, if he, I crash it now. You're gonna look so like, bad. I'm just gonna have to quit life. Yeah, you pretty much. <laughs> I'm are. just gonna be like, so I'm right. done. Worse than Bald Yoda or drifting. Yeah, done. <laughs> to be fair, it was okay. He started off a bit. Like at first, I thought he wasn't really gonna get the hang of it, but then he got he got a lot better in the afternoon, and he started to really get it. But it was it was the same with when I first did that one in the M3. Um, like it was like the last sort of half hour, you like you felt you really getting the hang Drive. of it, and it's like ah, oh, I gotta go home. I think I think Bald Yoda was the same. Yeah, he's like just starting to get good at it, and then it's like ah, oh, you gotta go. I think I think the I think problem I'm... with it is is on the road, you'll get like a slide. Yeah, a little bit. But I just say it's slide after slide after and you've slide. You gotta try and link them yeah, all. Yeah, I think it's that which is gonna be like just just stepping out and going having a bit of fun like that's that's okay yeah but i think yeah linking them together it's just gonna get messy and it, the other <laughs> thing is as well you feel like you're doing really well in the car probably, and then you look from outside and you're like oh no i'm barely even like hanging out much <laughs> at all honestly it's so disappointing when like, someone films you from outside you think you're proper just, like on the limit like 90 degree <laughs> angle you're just driving around then, the yeah track and then to something. everyone else it looks like you're just terrible <laughs> so yeah enjoy yeah, that look forward to that yeah. video that'll be sweet <laughs> We, let's place bets on how many times do you think you'll spin out? How many times do you think I'll spin out as well? Ten. I think, I think I spin, you're going ten. In the entire day, ten. That's ten. conservative. I was going to go like 300. There we go. I'll go ten, yeah. I'll, I'll go 15. 15. Right, place your bets. Place your bets. Place your bets. I'll go me spin out ten, you 15. Okay. Go that. Yeah. Cool. Right. <laughs> and on that note, we'll try not to spin yeah. out. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye.